It's a sculpture made out of hope. That would be the main material. And when I say this, it's because of transformation. Even in the worst conditions, you cannot lose hope because something can happen there. Something can happen here. Many times I, I think on uh, all projects I do as a system of education, let's say, in which the one who learns, it's me. In this case, I'm collaborating with a big group of people who are constructing, but also like technicians that are more like experts in different fields. So, hello, how are you? This uh, is uh, Abraham. Adam. Ab Adam. Yeah. He's uh, the artist. And, uh, he's, hello. He's just interested to see how we built them all. Put that one here like that. Uh, can I make one? Do you mind? Yeah, yeah. To, just to check how, no, how does it feel. It's also easy to think that you know everything about all things related to your project, but it's not true. In my case, I know very little about everything, so it's always an opportunity to learn. Maybe I'll get a job here. Yeah. <laughs> Easy. I wanted just to feel, you know, the kind of very dynamics of making what they're doing for, for my work, for my sculpture. And it, it, it feels good always, you know, it's like uh, getting into their rhythm. And this means a nice way of approaching what you're making. I mean, the idea originally was just very simple. Like, uh, I was trying to summarize, let's say, or to make a synthesis of everything I've made in life as an artist. I wanted to, to do that by the simplest of the ways. So I thought I should make an empty lot, having a piece of land where I plant nothing. And then just, I will allow myself to witness what can grow there out of nothing. Just the soil, I mean. I thought of it as kind of a self-portrait, but not making a representation of myself or my persona. That's boring. It's more about the self. The idea of having the soil from different parks in London came from the dialogue with my curator, Mark Godfrey, from Tate, because uh, we were wondering what kind of soil shall we use for this, for making this big empty lot. And then he had this brilliant idea of bringing soil from different places in London. And I think it really makes the piece, you know. It's different from the, the soil we, we took from Peckham and the one we took from the horny man. This is more like a clay. And so I think it, it, this all make together or could make a, a possible portrait of the city with all its differences. I really don't know anything about gardening. I don't know anything about like plants or producing food in general. It's more about like uh, wondering and hoping. So I hope something will grow there, you know? This is the way I work normally in general, improvising with materials and not knowing. And this not knowing is, is, is very important for me because it's what produces more and more questions. 
So this is more like a, about the complicity with the audience and what they can guess and what they can think and what will happen and what, what could be there after almost six months of the soil staying there in the turbine hall. We've been working making these structures with found material from London, from different parts of the city. Yeah, it's perfect. They will have some lamps hanging from them. They will stand on the platform in different random places to produce some light over the containers, the planters. It's really bad, no? <laughs> My snap easily, you know, like just... Maybe you could put, I don't know, Like a piece of wood? Yeah. So bad, oh my god. Eleven we have now, or how many? Me too. These lamps are kind of the, the work I do normally, like uh, in my studio, or when I go to make an exhibition wherever I go, and which is like recycling material, local material, that normally is discarded material. The way of using them is not, is not following a methodology, let's say. There is no structure properly, I would say. This is, for instance, um, the door, I think, of a, a, the toilet of a place, and it says, don't use me, I stink. Everything is kind of weak and it's more, that's the way I think it's more like a self-portrait, you know, like a, everything is super weak and not so well made, you know. The way for me would be like saying that everything can be used or everything is useful, that, that nothing is dead. That would be my main thing. More than proving that I can make anything with my hands, it would, it would be like testing that everything is alive. When entering the lower part of the turbine hall, people will be able to walk under the structure, but through the sculpture. So scaffolding is not only holding the structure, it's part of the sculpture. And this is a very main thing for me, because I always refer to my work as a conceptual, ideological scaffolding. But it's been always a metaphor. Now it's not. Now it's there. Richmond. Richmond Park, Priory uh, Park, Hackney. Hackney, okay. Um, Regents Park. Regents. GR? Uh, Greenwich Park. Greenwich. HH is Hampstead Heath. That's where uh, I went to. VLT, Victoria. Victoria. Horn, Horniman. Horniman Museum. Spital Fields. Uh, Mark. Priory. Mark Godfrey. Curate's Garden. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah. I like it very much.
there is no chance for mistake. Whatever it happens, it's okay. Because if something grows, I will be absolutely happy, pleased, proud. But it's not because of me. It's because it's kind of confirming something I believed in, because of hope. And then if nothing grows, I will be very happy as well. Because uh, there is something happening anyways. Maybe you don't see it, but it's happening there.